Is there any reason why we have no interior doors? We do that for visual continuity. You're able to see in any room, any time. Well, I'd like some privacy while I'm taking a shower. Well, that's why we put the curtain in there for you. You can hide all you want. Open floor plans are very popular, but that doesn't mean you should have to sacrifice your privacy. Quality constructed interior doors should be a part of your new house. Let's go out in the garage and I'll show you what your options are. This is called a hollow core door and it doesn't take much imagination to figure out why because look at the door. It's fairly hollow. Got a little bit of foam here to hold the two sides of it apart. Piece of wood to block it down on each ends. And that's it really. You take the old piece here. You can actually pull the skin off of it. Well, as you can see, it pulls right apart. It's not much to it. This is actually MDF, medium density fiberboard. It's basically like sawdust that's put into a mold and glued together. Very, very lightweight. The only thing that keeps it from collapsing on itself are these pieces of foam that are actually glued in and a little strip of wood down on each side. This is the most common type of door that you're going to see in new construction for first time homes and move up homes until you get into the higher price ranges. Now one quick tip on these doors, they're normally painted instead of stain gray, but you need to check the ends. Normally the top of the door and the bottom door is not painted and when your air gets dry or when there's moisture in the air inside your house and it starts changing, the doors can expand and contract. It makes it harder for them to open and close. Now, like I said, this is the most common type of door, but if you're buying a more expensive house, you're probably going to want solid core doors. Well, as you can see, a solid core door looks very different from a hollow core because it is solid. It's filled with basically like a particle board. Much, much heavier than our other door. This door has a nice solid sound that you just can't achieve with a hollow core door. That means it's going to block out a lot of noise from traveling through your house, whether it's stereos or TVs or kids playing in another room. The home will be much, much quieter. Now it is a heavy door, so you're going to need at least three hinges to mount a standard size door into a door frame. Standard size is six feet, eight inches tall. If you have very high ceilings and you go with an eight foot or nine foot door, you're going to need four hinges. Remember, three is a minimum. Don't settle for two. It won't support the weight. Now take all these facts into consideration when you're picking out your interior doors for your new house.